Get them, uh, and quality base is the Eagle has landed. Evening, folks, and uh, welcome to Alien Addict. Um, that's me, by the way. Um, obviously, if you want the Alien Addict, uh, this is my Facebook page. Um, check that out, by the way. Um, I've just put this out. <clears throat> Sorry about the croaky throat. A uh, couple of hard nights. Um, one of my earlier videos, and I've just put this out on my page. It's not Alien as such, but Alien Addict's not just about aliens it's about anything that i consider alien as an alien to me and robot play robocops real robocops um it's just getting a bit far-fetched now isn't it i mean whatever next i'm trying to think what could be next but i can't think what next but I probably will think about it through this video, but right now, all I'm thinking about is uh, this weird looking dude, um, dead or alive, you come with me, just like that, mm. I don't know if I take him seriously or not, anyway, something I noticed in the video, um, uh, this is, they're going to be over uh, Dubai um, in 2017, um, there's something I noticed about this in the video, which I will show you right now. So, here's a little bit. Let's turn it up for you. Look at that bad boy. So, the touch screen, I'm assuming, well, I've read through this briefly. So, you find something wrong, uh, you report it to the robot the robot by touch screen uh scream touch screen um I, I mean sometimes people with technology you know they're just like banging away going oh god you know when you go to the doctors and you gotta clock in and give it your date of birth and what have you i struggle with that never mind a bloody police officer robot with a touch screen ipad on his chest um i wonder if it would maybe it will be a, an ipad um on his chest, or Kindle. But one thing I did notice about this, he's, so you got this robot up here, saluting. He's shaking hands with this guy that looks a bit uncomfortable. As having a go on the touch screen, that did not work. You see that? He touched it. Look, look at this. He took. Nothing happened. Doesn't work. I mean, who's he going to be able to grab with them fingers? Look at him. If you want to arrest somebody with them. Like two. I don't know, it looks like a hoof on his hand. I can't imagine how, you know, I mean, there's not much movement in it either. So I think that it's just to surveillance, really. No, it's to, not surveillance, what's the word? To, um overlook the city and um yeah surveillance um but watch this in a minute right there we are there it is peaceful my bollocks look at that up there can you see that let me move me over here just in case you can't and i'll point at this that right there That is one of these buggers holding an assault rifle. Now, I said it wasn't alien, but this makes me think, you know, Terminator. What if this is the start of Terminator, the real Terminator? How clever are we going to make these green bastards that they will eventually be out and about and start becoming self-aware you know i'm not saying this model particularly but you see i i, I you know I'm, drink, I'm i'm drinking tea tonight there's no wine there's no whiskey ah, 
Harbisto. That's later. But how clever are these going to become in the future? And this, I reckon, um, there'll be an alien civilization there, uh, out there, that is no longer um, the life form that it was. And it's just, it's the machines that have taken over. And I know they've probably done that in things before, like the Borg in Star Trek and um, other th things, films that I can't think of right now, but I know they've done it before. But there's probably something in that. I mean, so it, our civilization, the more and more we're relying on technology, I mean, I wouldn't be coming to you right now without this, this sort of technology. It makes me think, you know, at some point, it will get to the stage. She looks happy, doesn't she? Well, she won. Sorry. Um, at some point, it will get to the stage where the technology is outdo. But it already is. The technology is cleverer than we are. In some respects, well, cleverer than me anyway. I mean, look at this. I've got this vacuum cleaner. This vacuum cleaner, mine here. There's no lead. I can just, I can just back at any point. I, I can just back, you know, with no, it's just, it's got a lithium battery that lasts for ages. Um, you know, that's a really bad example. I know, smartphones, the other day, right, this is no word of a lie. I was talking about a scotch egg with uh, a yolk inside it. It, it. My mate will probably watch this video that I work with and he'll be like, oh yeah, mention the scotch egg. So I was, <laughs> I was talking about a scotch egg that had a, a yolk and sa said that this is a place that does them really nice um, called Sir Jukes. And they said never had one. And he was going up and down his Facebook and I kid you not, lo and behold, a scotch egg with yolk in it, and it was Sir Dukes. I, that is not a lie. I hope, uh, Rob, if you're out there, if you're watching this, I don't know if you watch my videos, leave a comment in the comments down below. The, we, we saw the scotch egg. Anyway. You can see where I'm coming from. Scotch eggs on Facebook and robots. People, they're listening to us. It's very, technology is clever. Google is clever. Um, everything's very clever, apart from me. Um, I hope you get my sense of humor, by the way. Because I've noticed that um, there's quite a few Americans looking at my channel. Thank you. Um, but I do have an odd sense of humour. Even even for an Englishman, I've got an odd sense of humour. Um, but yeah, this robot. I mean, it doesn't look very strong. It's not Robocop material, is it? For a start, I mean, look at this. This looks uh, my little boy's uh, things. Probably stronger, you know, buzzy things, toys. Not my. I'm gonna say Meccano. Anyway, it's like Tupperware, isn't it? It's not, it doesn't look really strong. So, carry on watching it. The movement on its arm, it's not going to be able to arrest you. It's just basically simplifying, simplifying. It's simply there to um, report um, an incident. But I reckon, so this is the first one. So remember when they did the first iPhone, and now look at smartphones. This is the first iPhone. The i i copper. Um, she's there again. That woman. People don't know this brilliant way to do uh, PPI. Can't stand that. Don't do you, you probably don't get that in America. Every two minutes, somebody's calling me up. Have you claimed your PPI? Have I claimed my PPI? Yes, I have. My wife did it for me. Thank you. Anyway, yeah. Skip, um, this guy, it's, um, it's marvellous technology, but it's scary. 
at the same time. I think we, uh, somebody, need, I think Stephen Hawkins did say something about this. You know, if you're going to start making machines, you need to be a bit careful because one day they'll start talking and taking over. Who, who knows? We could have a prime minister at some point or a president that is a machine. Maybe, maybe they already are. Yeah. Anyway, good night, God bless. And uh, mind the uh, robots don't bite. Yeah. Later.